Hi everyone, I'm here for another set of tips. So, with the quarantine, we've all been having a really hard time with cravings, wanting to go back to the pantry, wanting to go back for seconds, um, some bored eating. So I have some really good tips here to help control that and hopefully keep this going even when you do return back to work. Um, so controlling hunger and prolonging satiety, we've talked a lot about um, pairing each meal with a high protein food, meals and snacks, whether that be some sort of meat, fish, Greek yogurt, eggs, all kinds of things like that, milk. Um, those are going to be really good ways to make sure that you are feeling fuller longer, keep those blood sugars controlled. Um, along with carbs, generally wanting about 15 to 30 grams or one to two carb servings um, for our snacks and then a little bit more, a little bit higher, maybe anywhere two, three, four uh, carb servings for meals. Men, you're going to be able to have a little bit more per serving or athletes compared to um, a less active person or women. Um, not very many of you should be getting more than 60 grams of carbs per meal. The majority of the people that are watching this um, have weight loss goals, so probably don't need more than those four to five carb servings in a meal. High fiber carbs are important, so plant-based, whole grains, nuts, seeds, fruits, vegetables, those are going to be um, the high fiber carbs I'm talking about. Nut butters as well. Okay, eating while standing gives you a better perception of fullness, so if you can do that, that's really great, especially if you have a standing desk at work or something like that. Um, takes the body a few, uh, it takes the body a few minutes after eating to recognize it's full. I recommend waiting 10 minutes after finishing your food before grabbing more. Um, you may decide you don't want any more after that 10 minutes is up. So really give yourself some time before just going straight back into the kitchen. Um, late night eating is usually not occurring because you are hungry. Go to bed. Um, so some of you may be a little bit different. Maybe you get home later. That's your only time to eat dinner. Um, what I would suggest eating every four or so hours. Um, we want to keep fueling the body for the day's tasks. We fast when we sleep. Hopefully get uh, from our last meal until the time we wake up is about eight hours. Um, then we want to begin fueling ourselves again. When we tend to go long periods without eating, we're then ravenous at night when our body has less time to burn that food off. We're going to bed. Um, so make sure that you are giving yourself some time, spacing out your meals, and then, you know, maybe give yourself a couple hours before bed um, when you're eating your last meal. Go for a walk or exercise instead. It's getting nicer out. Um, that's a great way to keep yourself distracted. Um, meditation apps can be great to keep you focused. Um, I can send a list of that in my email as well. Um, a set of just good meditation apps to um, maybe you just want to relax, maybe you want to focus, maybe you need to reduce stress. All of those can impact um, our cravings. So that and deep breathing can be very helpful. Limiting sugar intake. Okay, we really don't need to be getting more than like 25 grams a day, no more than six teaspoons. So really, really um, try to watch that. My Fitness Pal, if you're tracking with that, will let you know if you're um, exceeding that. But really try to be cautious. Um, added sugars, particularly on labels, we want to watch out for. Okay, here's one. Um, when you chew, try to chew each bite 30 times. That's going to make you be able to process that you're eating. Um, you're going to take more time. It's going to take more effort to break that down. Um, so hopefully you're not eating it very quickly and your brain doesn't recognize, oh, I'm not hungry anymore. Um, try to wait at least 20, 20 minutes while you're eating. Give yourself a full 20 minutes to eat. Um, take your time. Drinking water between every two to three bites of food is also another really helpful thing to do. Um, unless you're dealing with nausea or something like that. But if you were eating more, having a higher appetite, this is a good um, tip for you. So I have a couple different um, food suggestions here, and I am going to take you through another several. Um, Halo Top ice cream is great for sweet cravings. Um, I also have a banana nice cream um, that I'm going to show you. Um, plain Greek yogurt with berries is always really good, too. 
um, apple with peanut butter. I'm, I have something for peanut, oat, and chocolate bites that are really good. Um, so there's some sweet and salty mixes, trail mixes that you can do. Um, I love the sea salt and chocolate granola by Purely Elizabeth. That goes really great with Greek yogurt. Um, salty cravings. I actually have a Dorito Dust popcorn. Um, Skinny Pops are a really good brand if you're just looking for popcorn in general. You can add some of these uh, cheeses I listed below with Triscuit crackers as well for some protein with the meal. These are some higher protein cheeses um, that you can eat. Uh, making your own tortilla chips in an air fryer. Um, I'm getting my air fryer here in a couple of days. I'm really excited. Um, those are some things you could air fry vegetables, chicken, po uh, potatoes, fish, things like that. Um, spicy cravings. I have a recipe for you for buffalo cauliflower, sriracha mayo, Brussels sprouts. I have plenty of other um, recipes as well. So go ahead, download this, take a look at this. Really try to utilize this and see how it helps you. Um, so I have here just Halo Top. There's plenty of different flavors there. Um, recipe for the banana ice cream. I found a really nice um, pear and honey recipe. Let's look at this. See if we can get the picture. So I thought this looked really good. So this is another one you can do to make sure you're getting lots of fiber and some fruit throughout the day. Um, peanut, oat, and chocolate bites are amazing. I have the granola and popcorn here if you were curious as to what they look like. Um, Triscuits and sweet potato chips are great. Um, several different um, spicy cravings. I also have information about air frying, its safety, and um, some prices and places you can buy those. Um, vegetables with hummus is really great too. I have some um, do and don'ts with pre-made brands along with some options to make it from scratch. Um, and then a Greek yogurt ranch dip is another really good one to have with vegetables too. So try some of these out. Um, I haven't been hearing back from a lot of you so please 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 stay in touch. Um, I'm not giving up on you. I don't want you all giving up on yourselves. So stay strong. Really try to follow um, some of these tips and give me feedback as to how they're working for you. Um, I will let you guys know as soon as when we will uh, pick back up in person. I definitely want that to happen soon. Um, but we're just waiting until the man this mandate is up and just trying to take it as slow as possible, making sure it's safe for when we return. So um, again, stay strong, uh, keep communicating, and have a great rest of your week.